Hi YouTube, Inland Empire Dudes here, and uh, today I'm going to be making a video about clipping. So, um, I'm, so, it's hard to define what an instructional video is, um, I guess, I, I, I don't want to call this an instructional video, a disclaimer, um, don't blame me for anything, I'm not liable for you listening to what I'm talking about, uh, basically I'm just showing you what I do, okay? So, clipping. So, what is clipping? So, clipping, uh, when you're rock climbing, is uh, you're going to be climbing up the rock, and and um, and occasionally there'll be a bolt that someone puts in there. Um, you can, I mean, if you're um, if you are doing traditional climbing, then you'll put in a piece of protection. But um, and then you'll have a carabiner. You'll put a sling in it, or there'll be a carabiner hanging off of it. Um, you know, a draw of some kind, um, and. Um, and, and basically what ends up happening is, um, like let's say you're sport climbing, you're going to be putting a, a quick draw on that bolt. It's going to be hanging on the rock. And you're going to be clinging to the rock with one hand while you need, so what you need to do is you need to uh, clip your rope into that draw. So you're going to be pulling a draw from your harness. You're going to be putting it into that bolt. And then it's going to be, this, bolt, this quick draw is going to be hanging. And you're going to be put, grabbing the rope and you're going to be putting the rope in it so that you're safer. Because as you climb up, the higher you get, you want to always have some sort of protection, you know, nearby. So, so how do you clip? Okay, so clipping um, entails, oh, and I do have uh, my harness on, and I have the rope tied to me. Um, so this, um, and, and this, so this side is tied to me, and this side will be um, imaginarily to my bait, my belayer, um, or, and, you know, I'll be dragging this up with me as I lead climb. So um, I'm climbing, I'm climbing, I get to a portion of the rock where I want to clip, I'm hanging off the rock, and um, I take a raw off of my harness, put it into the bolt. It's, let's say it's going to be hanging in this fashion. So basically how this works is um, it all depends on, um, on which hand you're using and, um, and which way the gate is facing, if it's facing left or if it's facing right. So... Um, Let's see, and, and there are two, and there, um, there are two methods for when the, ga the gate's facing um, um, opposite of what, um, which hand you're using. But basically, uh, I'll show you this one first. So let's say the gate is facing um, left, and I'm using my left hand, um, I'm, my, I'm grabbing on the rock with my right hand, my, I'm using my left hand to clip. So what that is, is I'm gonna be grabbing from the rope from my harness. And um, how I do that is I start off at the knot. The knot, I'm going to be grabbing the, the rope from the knot that's on my harness. The reason that is is because it's good practice so that you don't mistakenly Z-clip. And we can go over Z-clip in another video, but you can, um, you can look that up and see why Z-clipping is bad. Basically, you're, you're, not, um, you're, you're pulling the rope up from underneath the last piece of protection, and then so when you clip... Um, you're still on the last, the, 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 the previous piece, not the piece that you just clipped. So um, don't Z clip. Okay, so I grab the rope from, starting from the knot on my harness, and I'm going to pull up the rope to, because I need to get it up to the height of my draw. And I'm, but while I'm doing that, I'm going to have it configured in the way that I need to clip in. And how that is for, le again, this is left handed with the draw, with the gate facing left is I'm gonna be having the rope from my harness ride over my thumb, and it doesn't really matter, but I mean, it's, it's optimal here, but it can go down here, um, and I'm gonna be pinching the rope with my, mi my middle and my index finger in this manner. So it's gonna go over my thumb and between my, my index and my middle. Okay, so with this, what I can do is I can either, I can pinch the carabiner here um, with my ring and my thumb, my ring finger and my thumb, I can pinch it, and I can ride this, and I can go behind the carabiner and place the rope through, um, through the gate as such. So again, I'm going to be pulling it up in this manner, and I get to, and I, you, can even, you can even pinch it with your middle and your thumb, um, the carabiner to stabilize it, but you're going to be getting this rope and you're going to be passing it through the gate as such. Okay, so you're going to be practicing that, um, you know, while you watch TV, so that you know a bunch of times, you know, hundreds of times, so that um, you know when you go out to the rock, you're not fumbling around trying to think about what you got to do. You're just going to naturally clip super fast. 
Um, what you definitely do not want to do is what you want to avoid um, is you do not want to pass your finger through, listen carefully, through the gate. Do not pass your finger through the gate. The reason is, is because look how little room there is left in the carabiner. Okay, so with the rope being here, my finger being here, the gate is actually not able to close. The gate is actually pressing against my finger. And especially with, and this is a wire gate, on a, even a straight gate, there's sharp edges right there. And if I were to fall out right now at this point, this is going to rip the skin off my finger. It's going to rip my finger off. So don't put your finger through the gate. Do not do that. Um, some people, um, from this method, they've kind of just like gotten to the point where they just kind of push it through. So it's the same technique. They're just, um, they're just having less control um, when, they're, when they're pushing it through. They just kind of do it with their tips of their fingers. So it is, kind of, it's the same technique. They're just, they're just um, push, it seems like they're pushing it through, but they're, they're really using the same technique just on the tippy toes of their finger. Again, um, th this, this method right here is very stable. So as you can see, let's say if I were to go to the left side of the carabiner, it's still about left hand, the gate's facing left. I'm still going to use this method. Okay? So that is, is left, left hand, um, gate's left. Okay? So the opposite of that is if you're using, let's say, my right hand, and the gate's facing left, um, then it's pretty much the um, it's pretty much totally different techniques. Um, again, this is right hand with the gate facing left, so it's opposite. Okay, so with my right hand, what I'm going to do is I'll teach you one of two techniques. The first technique is I'm going to pull so from my the knot of my harness, I'm going to grab that knot and I'm going to pull up in this manner, and I'm going to pinch it with my thumb and my index finger as such and with my middle finger I'm going to stabilize the carabiner right here inside the carabiner and I'm going to with my index and my um, thumb I'm going to um, guide it through the gate so again grabbing from my knot I'm going to be grabbing the, the rope in this manner so like this basically and my middle finger again goes right here in the carabiner, and I'm gonna push it through the gate. Okay, one more time, real fast. There we go. So that's how um, you do it when it's opposite hand, opposite um, of the gate um, side. Um, there's a, another way to do it with this. So again, my right hand, I'm gonna be grabbing the um, the rope under my thumb. And I'm going to stabilize, um, let's see, the carabiner on top with my middle and my index finger. That way I can guide the rope through this gate as such with my thumb. So again, grabbing the rope, grabbing the top of the carabiner with my fingers, and I'm going to be guiding the rope through the gate. One more time real fast. So this is an alternate method. Okay guys, uh, that's clipping the rope. Um, let's just see that real quick with the, um, with the gate facing opposite. Okay, uh, so now the gate is, um, is, is this direction. Uh, the gate is facing the right side. Okay, so now the right hand and uh, the right side, um, and the gate facing the right, um, again, they're, um, they're both right. Um, I'm gonna be using that first technique that we learned with, um, with the rope passing over the thumb and pinching between the, uh, the two uh, fingers up here, uh, index and middle. Um, so this is what it looks like from behind. And I'm going to, and I can pass it through the gate like such. Okay, so again, <laughs> Even if uh, I'm on the other side, again, right hand, gate's facing right, I'm going to be using this, this method, and voila. Okay? Again, so, um, so left hand with the gate facing right, again, um, I, the first method is I can pinch 
the, uh, the rope with my thumb and my index, stabilized the carabiner with my middle finger, and passed the rope through. Or, um, or that alternate method again is grabbing the rope or pulling the rope up underneath my thumb, stabilizing with my index and my middle, and passing the rope with my thumb. Again, it doesn't change which side I'm on. Left hand, pinch, um, stabilize with my mid middle finger, and it goes in like that. Or again, alternate thumb underneath a rope over my thumb, stabilizing it, and passing it through as such. Okay, guys, um, so uh, that's, uh, that's clipping. Um, thanks for watching. Um, in future videos, uh, stay tuned. I guess I'll do. I have to do one about Z clipping. Um, let's see, back clipping. Uh, what back clipping is and what and why not to do that. Um, and let's see. Um, and let's see what a, th uh, a third one, a third dangerous thing: toe tucking, back clipping, and Z clipping. Okay, those three things. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Um, Inland Empire dudes out. Climb safe.